So I typed a text to a girl I used to see saying that I chose this cutie pie with whom I want to be. Hey YouTube! Okay, so today I'm going to go over my skincare regimen. Um, skincare is really important to me because I do have really dry skin that's also acne prone. So I have to be really careful with the products that I put on my face and how I treat my skin. Um, basically, I do this morning and night and it involves three steps, which is first cleansing, then treating, and moisturizing. So if your skin's anything like mine, really dry or even combination, uh, stay tuned and maybe I can give you a few tips that will help you out. Okay, so first step, cleansing. Um, I have two cleansers that I use. I use this Dove um, Beauty Moisture Cleanser um, at nighttime when I've had makeup on my face. That's because this is still a moisturizing cleanser. However, it does have more emollients in it, so you get a good lather so that you can really get that makeup off of your face. So I use that at nighttime once I've had makeup on my face. And um, in the morning time, I use Cetaphil. This is a really gentle cleanser for sensitive and dry skin. And the reason why I use this one in the morning is because I haven't had any makeup on my face, so I'm not too concerned about really getting a rich lather to remove any oils or makeup. I'm more concerned about just gently cleansing my skin to prepare it for the treatment that I'm going to put on, which is the second step. Okay. So once I've cleansed my face, I take a clean towel and I pat it dry very gently. Then I wait about three minutes or so for any excess water to evaporate so that my skin is nice and dry and ready to receive the treatment that I'm going to put on it. So the treatment I use is called Panoxyl, and this is a treatment that contains benzoyl peroxide. Wait, sorry, I don't know if you could see that properly. This is the product. And um, this treatment contains benzoyl peroxide at 5%. I find this is a healthy medium between the 10% peroxide, uh, benzoyl peroxide uh, formulas, which tend to be too harsh, and the 2.5%, which tend to be a little bit too mild, for me at least, and I find I have to use too much product to get the results that I want. So 5% is good for me. Um, I take a really, really good amount. Like, guys, I'm, I'm serious. Like, put that on your finger. Lab, literally put, a, like, maybe a a three inch line, a two inch line on your finger and then just spread that on each cheek and then load up again, put it on your forehead, your chin, anywhere where you would normally get pimples. I get pimples in pretty much all areas of my face if I'm not careful. So I just, I really, it's almost like a mask, put it a really thick layer on and I need to take about five to ten minutes for that to really soak into my skin. Once I do that, I'm ready for the third step in my regimen. Okay, so after I've applied my benzoyl peroxide, the third step in my regimen is to moisturize my skin. This is extremely important because benzoyl peroxide really does dry out your skin. Um, I should also mention that uh, the reason why benzoyl peroxide is so effective is because it oxygenates, oxygenates your pores so that um, once oxygen has gone inside your pores, acne bacteria cannot grow. It's actually an anaerobic bacteria. So as long as you keep applying benzoyl peroxide twice a day, you're keeping your pores oxygenated and you're really decreasing the chances of developing pimples and blemishes and blackheads. So anyways, that aside, I get um, a rich moisturizer. The one that I use here is Pond's. And I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart as well. It's only like maybe five bucks. It's a really cheap product, and it works really well. I just take it, and I, I take a dab, and I just put it on each area of my face, and I just rub it in. And I do that, and I let it soak in, and my face is just so soft and supple afterwards. And you can take any moisturizer that works for you. I, I prefer a thicker one, just to make sure that my skin stays hydrated all day or throughout the night. But um, it's really up to you whatever product works best for your, for your skin. Just make sure that you don't skip the moisturizing step because you really do need to incorporate a good moisturizer after a treatment like benzoyl peroxide. Okay, so a few additional things that I like to incorporate in my regimen are um, good exfoliators. Um, I like to use mechanical exfoliators, so those would be um, grainier types of facial cleansers. And a good one is called um, St. Ives Apricot Scrub. Sorry, I don't have it right here to show you, but um, I'm sure you could find it in Walmart. And I just take that and I use it about twice a week just to remove any um, the surface layer of skin cells to help 
turn over my skin and reveal a fresh new glowing layer. So I find that's really effective. Also, um, alpha hydroxy acids are good as well, and you can find various creams that contain them, and you can use that a couple of times a week as well to help you lift the older layers of your skin and reveal new, fresh skin. Um, I also incorporate um, a clay mask um, maybe twice a week, and this one is by Dr. Kafir, and it's a, it's a really, really great clay mask. I What I do is I just wash my face, pat it dry, and I apply this mask, and I let it sit for about 20 minutes and then rinse it off, and my skin is velvety and smooth after I've rinsed it off. It's a really great product. I, I like it. And um, one other thing I use sometimes when I'm really struggling with my acne is tea tree oil. And tea tree oil is a great natural product that's antimicrobial, so it also fights acne bacteria and helps you keep that clear, um, glowing skin. It's a really great product. But um, I also want to mention that if you're going to use tea tree oil, you might want to um, choose between tea tree oil and benzoyl peroxide because sometimes using both can cause um, some irritation. Um, my skin's really used to, to using both products, so I find that I don't have to worry about um, choosing between the two. So sometimes I'll just put a layer of tea tree oil first and then some benzoyl peroxide after, and that's fine, but that's only because I've been using benzoyl peroxide for about five years. So you, you when you're starting off, even with the benzoyl peroxide, you might want to start off with um, one application a day if you find that you're sensitive to it, and just build up to it. Um, it's a really, it can be a very strong product that your skin needs to get used to, and a lot of people actually stop using the product in the beginning because it tends to make their skin really dry and irritated, and even it might be even a little bit uncomfortable, it might start to to sting. That is normal. I mean, it it's it's um an acne fighting product that is pretty potent. So you need to give your, your skin about two to three weeks to get used to it. So just stick it out if you can, because I did. At first I tried it and I was really upset because my skin was just extra dry and it was like, it was really hard to deal with and it seemed like no matter how much moisturizer I put on it, it was still dry. But I stuck it out and I continued with my application and I built up from one application day to two a day. And eventually my skin got used to it and now I can use it twice a day, no problems. So just try and stick it out if you can because you really will see great results. It's a really good product. Some people use salicylic acid as well, and I've tried that too, but I still find that there's just nothing better than benzoyl peroxide to fight acne. Okay, so that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just to reiterate, always remember to cleanse, treat, and moisturize, and hopefully you can have the glowing, beautiful, clear skin that you've always wanted. Thanks for watching.